Now we're going to talk about the probability of the complement of A. The complement of event A consists of all the events in the sample space that are not in A. For example, if I have an event A of rolling a number cube and the event A consists of rolling a 3, there's event A, which is roll a 3, and I ask you, what is the probability of rolling a 3? You would say 1 of 6. Now, the probability of the complement of A, what we're talking about here is about uh, the event that is not A. So if event A is rolling a 3, the complement of A would be not rolling a 3. So the complement of event A would be rolling all the other numbers except 3. And if I ask you for the probability of the complement of A, which is the probability that I roll a number that is not 3, then you would say it's 5 out of 6. If I add the probability of event A and the probability, probability of event of the complement of event A, then this should be 1 or 100 percent. So the probability of A plus the probability of the complement of A, which is everything else other than rolling a 3, if I add those two probabilities I should get a 1. And here if you want to work with the probability of the complement instead of working with the probability of the event, then you would have to calculate the probability of the event and subtract one from that, and you would get the probability of the complement. This sounds a little bit complicated right now, but we'll do some examples, and you'll get the hang of it, okay? Probability of the complement is looking at everything else other than the event that they're asking you for because in some cases it's easier to work with the complement than it is to look for the actual probability. We'll see some examples. First examples are going to be very simple and then we'll see other examples. Uh, for example here we had worked with this problem before about the policy that the people had favored or opposed or had no opinion on and what it's uh, showing you here is that if you refer to the survey and you let A be the event favor, let's say A is the event favor, and I want to calculate that probability, that would be 27 out of 100 people favor it. If I add the complement of the event favor, let me write over here the probability of the complement of event A that would be everything that is not favor. So if favor is 27, that's event A. The complement of that event would be everything that's not favor. So the probability of someone picked at random from this survey and that that person did not favor the policy, that would be 37 plus 36, right, over 100, which is 73 out of 100. That would be the complement. Now, what I'm saying here is that the probability of A plus the probability of the complement is always equal to 1. Notice here, I'll get 100 over 100, which is 1, okay? So this is what the probability of A is, 27 over 100. If you add the complement of the probability of event A, which is everyone who didn't favor, which is the addition of those who opposed it and the ones who had no opinion on it, you should get 1.